kind of cards. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Hi. <laughs> uh, we are both MFA actors uh, from that program, <clears throat> and uh, we actually know each other very well. And I, I actually had a crush on her. Don't tell her. Uh, well, the cat is out of the bag. In, now. A, in a first, in a first semester. Uh, I don't, I don't have a crush on her anymore. Uh, oh. I'm sorry. Uh, I have to focus on my art. Uh, That's so, what she said. So, so there, there is, there, there isn't actually too much thing I need to prepare for because the, because the lines are so well written. You know, uh, even though some of the, some of the lines are. Um, a little bit hard for me to say because it's kind of too formal, but um, I mean it's love, right? It's universal. No matter where it happens, uh, it's it's deep inside you. You you cannot deny it, right? So uh, even though I I, I played uh, a masseur, it, it doesn't you know um, affect too much. Uh, so that's it. I mean it's all uh, it's all in my nature. It's all in everyone's nature. Uh, the love, the fear, um, you know, the concerns. When you meet someone, you're like afraid to tell them how you feel about them. Uh, so yeah, okay. thank you. Uh, well, there you are. Yay. It's, the film is about family reconciliation. Uh, yes, uh, actually the theme is about teenagers too. Uh, who is suffering from unresolved grief. Uh, after her mother dies, uh, she feels estranged from her father, who seems already have moved on. So Sue is forced uh, to deal with her unresolved grief. And uh, Ron and I came up with this idea um, earlier in spring 2020. And uh, maybe you can talk about some inspiration. OK, so um, Ray and I also experienced some of our friends who experienced those hard moments in their child life, and then we visit, sorry, we witness their change mentally and uh, behaviorally uh, in their grow up. So we want to make something to our friends. So those are the important. Yeah. Oh, very good. Uh, next one, mother, mother in the mist, right? Uh, so to, to a lot of people, this is a very uh, heartbreaking film. So what's the inspiration? Where, how do you came up with that story? Uh, the inspiration for the story came from the relative friends of the director. Um, during uh, The director herself is from Wuhan, by the way. And then it was uh, in, the, uh, in the early stages of lockdown in early 2020, where she heard a lot of the stories uh, and horror stories about this is um, like, like unprecedented lockdown. And um, mothers were separated from daughters and um, babies, family fa family members were separated. Um, even now, you're still hearing similar stories from Shanghai a few months ago. And so we're, we're trying to use this story to really spotlight on um, the humanity and the struggle of the everyday life against the massive backdrop of, uh, of the global crisis. How, how, how do you come up with the uh, ending? It's a dream. Yeah. <laughs> um, for me, I think um, any like realistic portray of what really happened is um, it doesn't really reach the uh, sentimental effect. And for me, I wanted to dive into the um, consciousness and the subconscious and the dream and reality. I want to dive into that space to evoke the deepest feeling of everyone, of every audience, because I feel like for something that's so traumatic for a whole generation, for generations, most plural, um, we really want the space to think about it and to reflect on it by ourselves. And the best way is to give a mysterious, for, for me personally, as inspired by, I don't know, Charlie Kaufman and like Angelopoulos, um, I think the best way is to leave some space for explanation and for people to project their own understanding and their own uh, memories to it. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. So Mantis Club. What, why Mantis? Uh, so like, I was during a road trip and I saw a BBC documentary.